Okay, everyone, we're back for a setup of my budget. And I always use my ruler, pencil, eraser, and my Sharpie pen. And sometimes I use a little bit of washi tape. So we'll see how this goes. I got this, I believe, from Walmart. And I'm gonna use the butterflies, and maybe the flowers, or maybe just butterflies. We'll see. But for now, we'll get started. I mark my paper according to how I want to break it up at the top. I set up the top first. All right. And then because, yeah, I think I am going to use washi, I'm going to go ahead and try to use this now before I get too far in. Here we go. Because I don't think I'm going to have any color on this spread. It's just going to be a good black and white, I believe. Let's see. Huh. That worked out pretty good. And it did. Okay. Yay for that. And in these boxes, I'm going to write in. This one I usually do as month of. And it's going to be March 2020. Draw my line in there. And I can write, nope, let me go ahead and put my other line in. I would just do this all the way across truthfully. I think that will be perfect. And then, then this one, I usually just write income. Here I put the date. I put the amount, so the date of my check, the amount of my check, I should put check amount, and it's from February the 20th of 20, two, two, zero, two, zero. Then the amount of my check, and then here, totals and so this is where I'm going to need my pencil again let me erase this and I'm going to give myself a little little guide a little guide because the remaining is here the bottom Then I put my expenses Okay. 
I don't know if those lines are straight, but I'm not going to be concerned with that at the moment. We're just going to leave it like that. And this is type. And this is amount. So I put in this first box, again, I'll write my income and then the expenses. And then what's remaining. And so I'll take my income subtract my expenses and then what's remaining will go in the bottom box and ooh definitely cricket I know how to fix that okay and so now I can take my ruler my sharpie pen my good old trusted sharpie pen and make a nice line across oh, that's getting stuck on the paper that might be partially why now I'm not even gonna blame it there Maybe I can try Yeah, I don't think I got that any better. Oh, maybe a little bit better. Okay, that's done. My next task I usually put here my oh, let me break these categories up to okay my date goes here um new date bill or a description goes here the category the amount of that bill and then paid and so that's what I use these for and then I'll write the due dates here and since this is for March it's gonna be three two three two three 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 four three four and three six yeah these are a little bit different because the days that they're due falls on weekends so I'm paying them either the day after they're due or the day before they're due no and then my category would be like this is housing this is also housing entertainment entertainment this is housing this is housing this is personal 
and this is insurance. Done. And that's how the top half looks. Then I go in, oh, don't let me forget this. My total. And I write the total down here on this line once I add those up. Then, I think I'm gonna use it anyway. Let's see. It might mess up. If it does, then I'll just get another piece. But I was hoping that it would just go down and you wouldn't even be able to tell. Okay. Now have the bottom half of my sheet and I usually just come here ooh, throw in my sharpie pen and I'm like about right there and I do take this line all the way down this is for my cash envelopes on this side if I can spell today that'll be great give that a moment put sinking funds on this side There we go, not too bad. And then I skip a line, the category. And it's usually groceries, tithe, eating out. Gas and me time because self care is important. And then draw a line. Put a mount on this side. Ta da! Total. Right here. When that one's finished, and then And on this side, I do the same category. Probably take that out.
to here. And this is for the wedding. And no, it's not my wedding. Vacation. Car. Because I'm trying to buy the kid a car. I have a rainy day. Sinking fun. Car maintenance. Birthdays. Clothes and shoes. Because when you're on a debt-free journey, you just can't walk in a store and be like, Oh, I'm about to drop this 200 for clothes. You got to have a budget. Christmas. I feel the same way about Christmas. If you start saving at the beginning of the year, you're not scrambling in December trying to make sure you have enough money for gifts. memberships this is memberships to buildings that i have to go into and pay membership like costco sam's kind of thing um my memberships that are um automatically deducted or online memberships i count those as bills and then medical and dental and then my little total and I'm not even gonna draw a line because that's gonna be weird and so this is how I set this up on the flip side I am going to be trying something new so I'm just gonna flip this over. I think I'm gonna use this back side for weekly expenses. So for the top line, I'm gonna try to line this up the edge here. That looks fairly good. Oops, I don't know what that is on my paper. Some glitter. And this is going to be for the week of the 23rd through the 29th. Okay. And then, got like glitter everywhere. Don't know why. Gonna line this up here. Feel like I should move that up. Let me see something. I'm gonna do that. That week will stop there. And so then I'll do week of, and this should be the first through the seventh. I'm gonna move this nice sticker up. without tearing up my paper or the sticker. And put it here. Good. 
that should work. Now I'm going to try and get this to work out. That, let's see. How can I split this up? Put the date here. The description here. The amount here. Need what that might work this is my first time doing this so i'm hoping that maybe after i'm not just gonna try it this one time this is probably gonna be something i have to do for all of march all of april just so i can see if it's gonna work for me. Probably should go ahead and go over this line here. I'm a good old trusty Sharpie pen. I can put the date here. I'm gonna put probably should write in first description. So if I buy something from Joann's or if I buy something from Target, I'll just write Target in there. It'd be fine. I think that'll be sufficient enough. I'm actually gonna take it over just a tad bit. My amount should not be that much, but you never know what happened. So, make that just a little bit bigger. Oops, I just made that line crooked, but it will be okay. And then these two boxes can be pretty small because it's just going to be the amount here. need want and so I'll just check if it's a need or a want gas, groceries, those are needs but if I go do some extra shopping it'll probably be a want okay this is the back side of my weekly setup and so this will just be my weekly expenses and maybe I should write at the top weekly expenses like that and so I can keep track of my weekly expenses on this side and on this side I have my check so when I get ready to come back and write in my expenses and what I have remaining I don't know and I'll be able to keep track of it so I hope someone gathered something from this maybe something that they can use in their budgeting so thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful week